Hello, my name is Amanda Jackson and you are tuning in to the Summer Youth Program's Employment Info Session. Thank you for joining us. Um, today I have with me Jana Toomey, you can see her in the corner there, um, and we are just so excited to be launching 2021 SYP um, hiring for this summer. So hello friends, those of you who know us in our office already, and welcome to New Faces. I'm excited to kick off this info session showing our new logo for the summer. Okay, bear with me. There it is. So this is our new logo going forward for Michigan Tech Summer Youth Programs. All right, so who is in our office? We also have a new name change, the Center for Educational Outreach, formerly Pre-College Outreach. Um, so our office right now is made up of Cassie Tuftamunos. She is our director. Um, you will meet her during our training and everything, and she'll be in the office around. Um, she might pop in for some of our interviews. My name is Amanda Jackson, and I am an assistant director in the office. This will be my seventh uh, summer with the summer youth programs, and Jana Toomey. Also my seventh summer. It's hard to believe. I know they go by so fast. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we will have some more people we hire on our staff, but we are still in the process of doing that. So what are we doing here today? We are going to just do a quick rundown. What is SYP? What does that employment overview look like? Um, positions available for those of you who are new to the programs. What do these different positions look like? What can you expect from each of them? And the how and why um, to get everything rolling. So if you guys have any questions during the broadcast, feel free to use the uh, Q&A feature down at the bottom of your screens. We'll be monitoring that. So at any point, feel free to just chat us your questions. Yep, thank you, Dana. So what is summer youth programs? So for those of you who aren't familiar, they are STEM summer camps held on campus at Michigan Tech for high school and middle school students. Um, they're led by faculty, staff, and um, even undergrad students, sometimes at Michigan Tech. Uh, we do all different types of explorations. They're very immersive, hands-on learning, just like it is at Michigan Tech for pre-college students. And we're actually going on our 49th summer this year of having these programs. And just here's some pictures showing different students and staff throughout the last few years. Uh, they do get to eat in the dining hall, which for them is like super exciting and, and fun. Um, lots of awesome things that we do with them on campus and in the classroom. Additionally, there are summer athletic camps happening during the summers and we support their live-in students. Um, we're around, they're also living in the dorms and they have a variety of different programs, everything from hockey to volleyball to mountain biking to cross country. So we aren't completely in charge of them, but they're definitely a part of the fun in the summers on campus. And how many students? So SYP actually has over a thousand students that come to our program um, in the summer. Um, I think it was like 1200 last year, um, the year before. So the amount of students that you actually have the chance to impact and make a difference um, in their lives is it's awesome. Um, and again, we'll have about 300 athletic campers um, throughout the summer as well, kind of mixed in. So what do they do during the day? Jana's going to talk to you a little bit about some of the different classes and the sort of things they do. Yeah, thanks, Amanda. If you want to flip it to the next screen for me. So during the summer, we offer about 50 different programs and those programs are um, for a wide variety of topics. So in some of our competing classes, we have uh, courses like video game programming and 3D models and virtual reality and they're learning actually how to code. They're making games. They're creating websites. Um, and really getting an in-depth experience of those different fields and technology. In our humanities and business, I think one of our, our most memorable classes is our Calling All Writers classes where they actually work on a piece that they then help try to get published for the students at the end of the week. So that's really exciting. 
also exploring meeting with uh, local businesses, marketing firms, and things like that. There's a lot of opportunities in, in our humanities and business courses as well. Science and technology is one of our biggest categories of classes, anything from forensic science and CSI to science, medical physiology, um, ecology courses to, um, to different studies. So this summer we're actually bringing in a group called Inland Seas from Traverse City and students will actually have the opportunity to design their own research experiment and then they'll actually sail doing uh, aquatic ecology from Houghton to Marquette throughout the week. So that'll be a really exciting program. Engineering, of course, we are Michigan Technological University. We offer a lot of different engineering courses. We work with almost every engineering department on campus. Um, we also have quite a few competitive rotational programs that feature each of the different types of engineering as well. Great, so that's what the students are doing during the day. Here's an overview of what it will look like a little bit more for you. So we hire about 65-ish staff, student staff, and that doesn't in include all of the instructors um, to make it all happen. So really get excited. <laughs> Here's a brief overview of the weeks that we plan to run this summer. Um, so as you can see, we do have orientation starting on the 13th, well the 13th would be a move-in starting on that Monday, the 14th of June. So we have a full week of orientation where we train you, go through all of the who, what, where, when, all the things you need to know um, for running camp that year. Then we have SYP 1, the last week of June. SYP 2, we take a week off. There's no courses during um, that week that begins on Sunday, July 4th. And then we launch into the four more weeks of programs all the way until August 7th. So who are we looking for? We are looking for people who are reliable. We're responsible for all of those students and lots of different people are in and out during the program. So we need to make sure that we're always being safe and that we're in charge of them having that great experience. So we need people who are going to be on time. They're going to be organized. They're going to be a leader um, for them, you know, the students and the other staff. Um, always need people who are reliable, who are going to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as it can. And we need people who are adaptable. Um, we have all these students and moving um, pieces for all the programs. So we need people who can kind of adapt and just jump in when things uh, catch on fire. Hopefully they don't. Um, but with COVID this year too, we're gonna have to be flexible. Things are gonna happen that we need to adjust to last minute. Um, so we need people who are willing to do that and make sure that we can run everything smoothly. Um, and we need people with a be awesome attitude. Um, it really is about the experience for students. So if you're having a good time, engage and ask them questions, they're gonna have a really good time too. Um, so we need to make sure that we're, we're ready to take on those new challenges, get people involved and um, make sure the students are involved and meeting new people and um, really having a good time. So what are some of the requirements? Um, there's a uh, training that we do, um, student staff training, first aid CPR, the Michigan Tech Van certified, and we do a uh, staff book each year. Those are all things that we will um, train you on. You do not need to have any of those done already. Um, and then personal, have um, completed one academic semester. So as long as you're all students now, you're all good to go. Um, you also need to be free of academic and or conduct probation in order to work for our programs. And uh, an enthusiasm for summary programs is, of course, a requirement. Um, the general requirements, you need to submit to and pass a background check. We do background check everybody every year to make sure that they're all clear to work with youth. Um, you have to have the ability to work as part of a team. A lot of things are individual, but it is a big team effort, whether it's within your staff type or the group as a whole, and then be ready to rock and roll when we start on June 14th. So what are the positions available? Um, 
We do offer a huge variety, so bear with us as we kind of go through them quick to find which one you want to apply for and what will be the best fit for you and your schedule. So the first is our activity counselor. So in the evenings, they lead really fun activities with the participants. These are both on and off of campus with students. Um, they help with our registration um, and our orientation, both of which are on Sundays. And they keep everyone engaged, busy, and included. And that's during activities, during meals, um, whenever they're on the clock, they're making sure that everyone's included. So their typical schedule is Sundays during that check-in, uh, 12 to 9.30 p.m. And then Monday through Friday, 4 to 10 p.m. So they are there mostly in the evenings. Um, so this leaves a lot of flexibility for classes, for you know, time in the summer just to be um, out doing things and it's very flexible. Uh, next position is our residence counselors. This is very similar to the resident assistant position that many of you are familiar with from being a student at Michigan Tech. Um, these are people who really are looking to, you know, have the opportunity to develop really meaningful relationships with their students that they have during the week. Um, they usually work the breakfast or lunch shift during the week, and so they're, they're making sure that everybody's day is going well, getting them set up on the right foot, um, and serving as kind of that contact for all of those students, leading their nightly meetings, making sure everybody's in the know for uh, what's going on. Residence counselors do live in the residence halls. They do have some nights off throughout the weekend where, you know, they don't have to be in the residence halls on those nights off, um, but room and board is included with this position. So that's a nice perk of it. Yeah, and as an RC, we have a question. You, yeah, you do have to live in the residence halls because you're there overnight. Uh, front desk staff. So this is that information hub for all things SYP. We actually share the front desk in WADS with the regular front desk staff. And this is where a lot of participants and parents will come first when they have questions. This is a spot where we administer first, we can do first aid, there's medicine for students who take medicine regularly. The commuter students would sign in and sign out every day. You'd have merchandise in the back available for purchase. Um, a lot of instructor communication um, as far as students may be missing or running late. And then a lot of student signups when they sign up for activities that they want to do in the evenings. Um, you really are the face of the summer youth programs here, um, but the schedule is very, very flexible. We basically take the students who are working this and build the schedule around their availability. Um, so the desk is open 7.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Um, and we, again, build that schedule around when people are available to work. Day counselors can jump between so many different tasks throughout the day. So if you like a lot of different projects and multitasking and, and jumping from one thing to the next, this is a really great spot for you. So this is kind of an eight to five position and they do help our professional staff a lot with things that pop up during the day. They are also responsible for bulletin boards, so creative people welcome to this position um, and can help with some of the other things that come up during courses, uh, such um, as if a course needs like an extra chaperone or something for a field trip, day counselors might get called upon to do that. You know, med runs, again, hopping from one thing to the next, they really, no two days are the same for them. And then there's the chaperone. So we do have a bus that travels to pick up students downstate at several locations. So we usually put a chaperone on the bus to supervise those students while on the bus. So they're responsible for that pickup and drop off of students, um, making sure we have everything we need and all the right people on the bus. Um, and occasionally they do have the option to drive local um, participants for different classes or other things that may come up. Their schedule, so that bus leaves at 10 p.m. on Friday night and drives throughout the night, coming back at 9 a.m. Sunday morning. Um, and again, we may have some weekday hours as well, but if you want a type of job where you 
can get a lot of hours in real quick over the weekend, this is a good um, position to apply for. Weekend counselors. So sometimes we have students who are staying for multiple weeks and they actually don't go home on the weekend. So our weekend counselors are kind of responsible for the supervision during the days of that in between camp period on the weekends. So we, we really try to get really fun adventures lined up for our students um, from going to like pictured rocks, uh, you know, canoeing, whatever they want to be doing. Um, you usually have a small group of students with you. So it's really fun and you can really get to know those students. And again, just on the weekend. So your week still has a lot of um, flexibility that if you're taking classes or have another job or something, this complements that really well. And then there's student coordinator. Um, so the student coordinators um, help us by enrolling students into all of their classes that they're in, in Banner, um, which is a system that Michigan Tech uses. Um, they basically make sure all of the paperwork is submitted. Um, they actually begin this semester uh, around 10 hours and then go through the summer, um, Monday through Friday, about 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with sun Sunday hours. Um, so what they're doing now is they're making sure we get everything we need from those students to get them signed up and they're calling parents, um, they've been answering emails, they're basically working in our office and assisting um, the CEO with any task that's related to SYP and our other outreach as well. So again, kind of like that day counselor wearing many hats, but the main goal is to help make sure that we have all of the students signed up properly and all the paperwork we need from them. Um, before they arrive on campus. A photographer, I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, but we're looking for somebody who has some flexibility in their schedule that uh, can work with all the different courses and in the evenings occasionally to, to get photos um, for, our, for our marketing materials and capture those memories throughout the summer. So, um, if you are interested in photography, this could also, you know, uh, be a part-time position for somebody. And this one is a full-time position as well. And then we need lifeguards. Um, so you can be um, a lifeguard and a different counselor and a counselor as well. You don't have to be just a lifeguard. Again, this is just additional type of a role. It's very flexible. It's kind of as needed. It could be during exploration. Sometimes if they're in or near water, we need to provide a lifeguard. It could be in the evening if we take students to you know, a, a beach. And it could even be on the weekends if they wanna go do a weekend trip somewhere near water. Um, so if you have a new lifeguard certified or open to that, you can let us know and indicate that in your application. All right, some final notes. So we do start at minimum wage that um, $10 an hour at the base rate as Jana mentioned RCs get room and board included um, and meals during shifts for all positions um, as you're working. Um, the full-time positions are listed there, um, activity counselor, residence counselor, desk staff, day counselors, photographer, and student coordinator. And then those part-time opportunities um, on the weekends, the chaperone, the lifeguard. And we do usually have one desk staff person that is only part-time. Um, so, Keep those in mind as you are applying to make sure that you pick a full-time or part-time as you prefer. In your app, we'll show you in a minute, you'll have the option to select um, top three choices. So how do you actually apply? What do you actually need to do next? Um, here's a brief overview. Um, you're watching or tuning into the info session right now. The application is already open. Um, so we will have that open until the 30th. Interviews will be done December 2nd to the 4th. We will get hire letters sent out by the 20th and you would need to return those by mid-January. So in order to actually see the application, that is on our website, mtu.edu slash SYP, go to about, go to employment. Um, that's where you're gonna find this. Again, submit that application and your resume um, by the end of November. Um, we'll also show you where you need to go to click to schedule that interview and then we'll have the interviews done virtually this year. So once you are at our website, you will see if you scroll down, um, 
the SYP staff application button. It actually looks like this on the screen there, and that will prompt you to download that PDF. Um, you can complete that app online or by hand. It should be fillable. You would email that to outreach at mtu.edu, and we'll get, it, get you a confirmation to let you know that we got your application. You can then, um, real quick on the application, again, it's four pages. It requires you to provide just your basic information. We do have some short answer questions. We do ask for references and we ask you to do an electronic or in-person signature on that application. Um, we do request your most recent and or updated copy of your resume. It's a good time to get that updated now if you haven't yet. And please make sure that everything is neat, clean, and accurate. So here, real quick, is what the application looks like that you'll download. Um, it is fillable. So um, you have the option um, under positions to actually pick your first, second, and third choices. So um, we will have some flexibility and kind of during the interview, see where you're the best fit. Um, you can list any certificates you already have, um, the dates available you'd want to put that you're definitely available um, June 14th through, um, and our programs go through early August, August 7th, I believe. So make sure you're available for the full time. Indicate your year, um, if you're doing summer classes, if you don't know this yet or not, that's okay as well. Um, and then contact information, um, so we're able to reach you. Again, a couple of written responses. Just be honest, give us some information to get to know you a little bit better. That's all we're really looking for in those short answer questions. Um, see um, what you're involved in, who, you know, how you'd be a really good fit for the position you're applying for. Um, a quick note on references. They should not be a friend, a relative, a fellow student, um, or a coworker. We really want those um, to be someone who is supervising you in a, some sort of capacity and can speak to you as an employee and then your signature, and you would send that back to us. So once you go through and you have um, the application downloaded, you submit that, you can actually schedule your interview um, through that same page. If you scroll down just below the application is actually a button to schedule your interview. So click on that button and it'll pull a calendar up and you'll have to click to advance to the week of December. And then you just basically pick a time slot in on that calendar that works for your schedule to do the virtual interview with me or Jana. Interviews will be about 30 minutes. Um, we have some questions that we'll go through again, just to try to figure out where you'd be the best fit. We want to get to know some of your history as far as working, if you've done anything with summer camps before. Um, and we will send you a confirmation email with your direct Zoom link for that interview. So last question is why should you join the coolest team ever? <laughs> um, some quotes here from past staff. SIP is something that everyone should try to experience at least once. It's a summer full of not only work, but friends and fun. I made connections with people on campus that I never would have without SIP. Um, each year, it's great to see the staff kind of connect and really get to know each other. Um, students who come from, you know, they're all different years, all different majors, but they really become this close-knit team um, together uh, with the mission of helping these students. The best job ever. The best hours, the best coworkers, the best pro staff. Everything about this job is great. I had so much fun with the students and hearing about all of their projects that my only sad part would be if I'm only able to get this opportunity once. Um, we obviously love returning staff, uh, but it's really something that we hope people take advantage of at least once to get that um, summer on campus and that really family feel for promoting STEM and making sure that students find things that are their passion for jobs down the road. So, you can make a difference. This is a great opportunity, um, especially if you love um, making an impact in, in students' lives. Um, it's really a lot of fun. Summer camp is a great environment. It really is awesome to see and spark students' interests and hear what they're passionate about and what they want to do with their lives and what you know, problems they hope to solve one day. So, 
Who wouldn't want to be part of this awesome team? Can't wait to take our new team picture this year and reveal our new staff color shirt with our brand new logo for the first year ever. Uh, with that, if there are any other questions, if you can throw them into the chat, we can um, stick around to answer those real quick, or you can contact us at any time. Email us at outreach at mtu.edu. Um, or you can call our office, we're in and out, probably best to email us at this time. But again, make sure you check out our website, mtu.edu slash SYP. You're gonna go to about and then employment. And that's where you're gonna find all the information you need in order to apply for our programs um, to, to help us as a staff member this year. All right, we have another question here. Um, what considerations will SYP be SYP be taking if we are still in a pandemic over next summer? And this is a great question. We are doing everything we can to plan as if we will run in person. Um, we, we definitely want to. Students are very much fatigued with um, being online and we will do everything we can to run programs in person. Um, if we do have a uh, pandemic type of situation where we aren't able to run, um, we are gonna be working with the university all along the way to make sure we can let staff know as soon as possible. But we really are planning to, to do everything we can to run in person with, of course, extra safety measures in place for COVID. Um, working right now on, on our plans, what are those extra safety things we need to do to make sure that we can run safely and, um, and make sure that everyone is as safe as they can while, while the programs are running. Um, if we'd like to apply for uh, another question from Kat, if we would like to apply for a head staff position, should we provide a cover letter as well? So if you are interested in the head staff positions, um, that is something you can definitely note in your regular application. And our team will reach out to you if you've indicated that, or if we just feel you may be a good fit when we go to do that head staff hiring process. That will be um, something we either um, follow up with you from your regular application or we will just kind of reach out to you and say hey have you thought about this um, it will be head staff interviews are done and completed after regular staff interviews so if you're really hoping for a head staff position we want you to still go through the regular syp um, employment um, hiring process and then we'll kind of go from there with that great questions um, no, there's a lot of question marks still out there, but we um, are very much looking forward to this summer and um, getting to see all of our, our students and our staff smiling faces again, um, getting everyone back on campus. Um, again, you can keep checking our website as well for updates, but um, we will do our best to keep everyone informed. And um, thank you so much for joining us, for those of you who are able to join us today um, for this session right now and um, reach out to our office again if there's any questions. All right.